Hey everybody, it's Paul Amiski here with My Woodworking Life and today we're up using the Big Sawmill cutting some insanely nice Manitoba Maple Burl like the nicest log I've ever cut. You gotta watch it. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks so much for tuning in. I slurred that too. Oh my god. So let's start here. This is the white oak for my own vanity top that you guys saw Justin put together. And we have started using a new water-based urethane, I believe it is, from EnviroLac. And we're finding great success with it. It's a super, super hard finish. It's going to offer ridiculous protection. And you know what? Zero chemicals nothing which is amazing so I think Justin did a fantastic job on here you can see what the woodworkers were always striving for an invisible glue line that's the glue line there Let's come down to the edge here oh yeah there we go so there you go practically invisible fantastic job Justin I must say and let's uh, take a little walk to the shop we got stuff everywhere we are working on the bally chair Check it out, bent laminated back supports coming soon. We'll have a new build video dropping shortly, which is uh, power carving and some sanding. Then, this project, I hope to put on the CNC later today. You can see uh, how thick this is, about almost three inches thick. So I'm gonna shave down this little bit of uh, wood here and show you guys the underside of it because that's where the, where the star of the show is. Here we are working away. The first restaurant table is glued up. All right, all right, that's great. We did get this walnut table glued up. We moved it. We got to trim it lengthwise now and then start filling it. And the guys are hard at it at the sliding table saw, creating all the glue lines for the restaurant table. So we got a bunch of dimensional wormy soft maple and we have a bunch of live edge wormy soft maple. So we actually bring in the dimensional and we're adding on our live edges. Uh, getting all the glue joints done here at the sliding table saw. And um, this is where the over under joint or planer works fantastic. So the lumber comes in rough. Here it is here. We then select the material we need to use. We run it through the jointer planer, comes out, gets stacked here, run it across the sliding table saw, get our glue line ready, take the pieces to the back there and glue up. So they got a good little workflow going and uh, they're working well, very well as a team. You liking this, Andrew? A little bit better than school? Oh yeah. Oh, you still, you gotta go though, right? Uh, noon, yeah. Yeah, noon, he's out of here. We are going to be using the Festool Domino to throw some tenons in there, give us a little bit of alignment, and we're going to hammer down with the glue and clamps. That's why we brought Andrew, the muscle. Sorry, Justin. The Wormy Soft Maple is pretty cool, aka Ambrosia Maple. We've left these thick right now because we're going to be able to run the whole table through the planer after glue up and then get a wide belt sand going. All right, there we go. So they worked hard. We got two of the tops glued up. They're going to work uh, harder this afternoon. Justin's by himself. Yep. Andrew's got to get back to, back to school. Stay in school, kids. Thanks for the help, man. So the dominoes do help up with the alignment because we do have multiple boards here. So just a vertical alignment. Although we did leave these relatively thick compared to our final finish. So we'll be running these through our planer because they can easily fit. 
which is fantastic. And it's lunchtime. Woo! Heading up to the sawmill now. I hear it running. I love the sound of the big sawmill running. In through cutting slabs, baby. Looks like we got some single slab dining tables here. This is Poplar, beautiful figure. We got some color going on. We got one of the nicest, gnarliest Manitoba maple logs we've ever put on here. It's all burl. Pretty sweet. Sweep hard. Nice, nice. Check out this one out here. So we got some smaller chunks too. We're actually gonna be cutting this one in the cookies. Now you look at this side, you're like, wow, nothing special going on. This is the end that was just freshly cut. Woo wee. And if you saw a video that we got our telehandler stuck, I did break one thing. This was actually the night before I broke it. There's a, a piece of threaded rod right here you can see and it actually broke on this. I finally sourced it today. So I'll be fixing that shortly. And check this slab out here. Killer, eh? Wow. All right, there we go, she's all sliced up. We do still have a pretty big uh, chunk of wood here. We're probably gonna flip it over and then keep milling it. But we can also keep this piece, put it on the wood miser, flip it over and then mill it from there. The red uh, in this Manitoba maple is quite incredible. From what I'm told, from what I understand, there's an infection in the tree and the tree naturally puts out this color to fight the infection. Now it doesn't have to be burly, it can be regular Manitoba maple also. Uh, the burl is just a little, bit of, a little bit of icing on the cake, I'd say. So these slabs are pretty incredible. Certainly one of a kind. Around here, we don't get too many just super burly logs like this, but they do come up once in a while. This was taken down by a local tree service uh, arborist that I know, Andrew. And we think this is one of the coolest slabs out of the, out of the, out of the, just slide it back a little bit and roll it towards me. Ah, there you go. Don't you dare break it. Trees. <laughs> That's a good picture right there. I'm going to get a little video action. Get there. It's do a little pose there. Behind it, I like that. That's a good one. All right, they got the lob flicked over. Let's go check it out. See what they're gonna take off. It's probably some pretty cool pieces.
All right, time for a blade change. We got a two inch wide. This is a 45 thousandths of an inch in thickness. 10 degree, 25 foot, eight inches long. This guy uh, wields them like nobody's business. Oh, nice. He's got the skills to pay the bills. Now we cut this whole log with a single blade, but it was getting dull already, and also we cut through uh, a big mud ball. She was hidden in the burrow there, so. It's time for a blade change. Let's see how he does here. Hmm, interesting. Oh, hey, watch yourself. Voila. I find the big ones are actually easier than the small ones. All right, Paul speaking. Okay. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I definitely remember there's like a, a curved chair part or something. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, possibly. You haven't, you, have, you haven't found anybody, I guess. Right, right. Yep. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I'd be available. It, I wouldn't be able to do anything probably for about a month or so. I just got I just got super busy. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I'll circle back to the email. I'll double check and uh, I'll just confirm on the email with you. Yeah, yeah, it might be. It might be, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would be that would be amazing actually. That would be ideal. Whereabouts are you located? Oh, okay. I have a store at Dick, Dixie in the 401, so you could drop the stuff there. Um, unless you wanted to bring it right up. I'm in the Guelph area where I am with my shop. All right, we're going to leave them to it, finish up the last little bit of that log. We actually have two branches also off of it. Here's one of them. So that's going to be quite gnarly. And here's a bunch of the other slabs. So exciting to get this stuff dried. This is the type of material, I'm probably yelling at you right now, sorry. <laughs> there we go. This is the type of material, maple, we can actually put right into the vacuum kiln, dry it right away. So if I wasn't busy, if I didn't have a, a backup of lumber, um, I could literally have this dry in about 14 days. And we're talking about three inch thick uh, material. That's actually taking it relatively easy in the vacuum kiln, but I would not want to want to damage this stuff. Maple dries actually very nicely in there. Walnut is actually one of the harder ones to dry. That's North American. White oak being the most difficult. Uh, walnut, you can easily have honeycombing. And uh, the color of walnut is also very particular. So we have to actually air dry walnut for about, I say two months to three months per inch. And you get a much better result. Well, we got some visitors here at the shop. Let's see what's going on. Hey guys, what's going on? Cool. So we had two students here. They took, uh, they came with their school actually. We have a YouTube video of it from Father Brezentai. And they've stepped up. They made some coasters when they were here with epoxy. But now they've made a smaller uh, river table, coffee table. So we're just going to run it through the wide belt sander. Justin's going to take care of that. Fortunately, we have this giant sanding machine. There she is. Woo, baby. So we're going to get her run through here right now.
All right, so they're gonna keep passing that through the wide belt sander. That only gets so exciting, I think. Justin has been hard at work. Uh, we got a bunch of restaurant tables for our local pizza wing place, kind of sweet here in Aaron. First question was like, uh, do we get like lifetime supply of pizza and wings? I don't think so, Justin. Kevin's also here working away diligently on a nice sculpted rocking chair. He helped me build during my last course. So he's getting some of the final sanding done because by the time you're here, you've done a lot of sanding. Here we can see the Maloof joints in the seats. So it's upside down, but I swear to you, there's a chair there. We have so much stuff going on right now. We got a cherry dining table here and a bench. We got all these uh, restaurant tables. Here's some more back here. So we got wormy soft maple, live edge on them. All right, there we go. We got it all cleaned up. They got some hand sanding from here. They are uh, Toronto Maple Leafs fans. So we're gonna hand sand from here. What are you doing for legs? Oh yeah, there now we're talking. <laughs> Sweet man, nice.